Hello there everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys my 3D printed family handyman Panama gear driven ceiling fan. Now, the Panama gear driven ceiling fan was originally sold in the family handyman magazine from the late 70s to the early 80s. Now, the reason why I don't have one is because they are so rare that I just couldn't find one for sale anywhere, not even eBay. So, since I have a 3D printer, I decided, you know what, since it's a mostly plastic fan, let's give it a go. So, then I 3D printed it, and it turned out wonderful, actually. The gears have basically never slept ever since I made this. So this might actually last a while. Well, like most of my prints that eventually fail after a while. So. There's the top. There's where it screws onto the motor to keep it up. And it's on this hook temporarily. I actually plan on putting it on the actual ceiling. But it's just here for now because I had to assemble it on there. Also made these tassels yesterday, and they fit the fan quite nicely. Here are the blades. Now they look exactly like the original fan blades. They're the same color and the same finish. If you can even call it a finish. I actually do plan on giving it a stencil just like this one. It's got like this gold ornate kind of design actually plan on doing that. Without further ado, here's the light turned on. And it's quite bright actually. I got this light from a thrift store and it fits my 3D printed ceiling fan nicely. Without further ado, here's medium. What is strange about this fan is that it goes medium, high, low. So, here we go. Blows a pretty decent amount of air. That's a lot of air. Here it is low. Show you the top of it. Pretty cool little fan. It was off. This is actually bigger than my bedroom fan. Because this is 52 inches. And the one in my bedroom is, I think it's 42 inch. So. Now let's turn it on without the light. And without me talking, so here we go. Now the reason to why this isn't as loud as the original ceiling fan is because of the fact that, unlike the original, this one has bigger gear teeth, which means it has less teeth. And because it has less teeth, it doesn't like make collisions as often as the original one, so it's not as noisy. I mean, it's still noisy, but it's not unbearable. 
So, yeah, this looks pretty good, actually. If someone showed me this, I would hardly even tell. It. I couldn't even really tell if it's 3D printed. It looks like the original. It's so well done. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out. Here's, here's a bonus part. I actually put a fuse plug on this, just in case something went wrong with it. Because, unlike the original one, this one actually has a fuse in it, so. Yeah.